as part of the ongoing military operation against Hamas. The Israeli armed forces are deploying various types of weapons, including the latest models. A few days ago, Israel announced the first use of the Iron Sting 120mm guided model munition. This product has been put into use recently and has so far been able to demonstrate its potential and properties only under testing conditions. The Iron Sting is a 120mm guided model munition developed by LB Systems of Israel, designed for use with the Keshet and Hanit models in service with the Israeli Defense Force Infantry Corps. It features dual guidance, laser, and GPS, allowing for precise strikes, including in urban areas, minimizing the risk of collateral damage. Development of the Iron Sting began in the early 2010s and continued after LB Systems acquired the military industry. In March 2021, the Iron Sting completed a successful series of tests marking the end of its development phase and indicating its readiness for delivery for the Israeli Defense Forces. The Israeli Defense Forces procured the Iron Sting during 2021 to 2022 and it is operated by reconnaissance platoons. The 2023 Israel Hamas war was the first time the Iron Sting in real combat. On October 22nd, the Israeli Defense Force Press Service announced the start of the new guided munitions. Special Forces Unit No. 212 Maglan is participating in Operation Iron Squads. Its task is to identify and defeat enemy targets and weapons in the Gaza Strip and on the border with Lebanon. The goal of the Iron Sting project was to create a promising guided munition with improved combat qualities for our existing 120mm model systems. The problem of increasing the accuracy and power of ammunition was solved through the simultaneous use of different guided systems and a multi-mode fuse. As a result, in its design and appearance, the Iron Sting is noticeably different from other munitions. The Iron Sting munition is made in an elongated torpedo-shaped body of the maximum possible volume with a shortened shank. In the center of the body, there are deployable rudders, and in the tail, there is a stabilizer of a similar design. Control devices are located in the head of the center part of the body. The remaining volumes are given over to the bursting charge. The tubular shank accommodates the propellant charge and additional charges can also be installed. The total length of the munition is 950mm, weight 10.8 kg. The ammunition is equipped with a combined control system. It includes satellite and initial navigation devices, a semi-active laser homing head, and an autopilot that generates commands for the rudders. There are three modes of operation of the equipment. Coordinate guidance using satellite and initial systems, a combination of INS and laser seeker, as well as the simultaneous use of own devices. The target coordinates are entered using the standardized programmer included in various model systems, such as CARDEM. It takes 15 seconds to prepare the ammunition for firing. 
When using a semi-active seeker, the assistance of a gunner with a laser-range fighter target designator is required. In search mode for a laser-illuminated target, Iron Sting shows a circular euro probable of no more than 1 meters. Navigation systems give a circular euro probable of up to 10 meters. The high explosive fragmentation warhead of the munition is detonated at the command of a 3 mode fuse. It fires upon contact with a target with a set delay or at a set height above the surface. It is reported that the guided sting is compatible with all 120mm models of NATO standards. At the same time, the munition is primarily intended for the Cardam complex and is compatible with its standard fire control system and programmer. Other models must be additionally equipped with appropriate devices.